Despite what the Beach Boys may croon, the world is filled with bad vibrations. Planes, trains, automobiles, anything that moves creates bad vibes which lead to metal fatigue. Left unchecked, it can mean big trouble. Some engineers looking for a solution are using the power of positive vibrations to negate the bad. It may not look like it, but this bridge is vibrating as traffic rumbles across. Long bridges may rise and fall by as much as a foot. The thrust of an aircraft engine can trigger powerful tremors. Same story in cars, trucks, submarines, and machine tools. And where there's vibration, there's metal fatigue. Shaking causes the most damage when it's regular and constant. It's like bending a steel component up and down. Uh, after so many cycles, you inevitably introduce fatigue. And the, uh, the components fail. The standard solution? Make things extra heavy duty so they'll hold up and check them frequently for damage. But some engineers are fighting vibrations with vibrations. They say regular shaking creates a steady wave. By building systems called resonators which generate an opposite wave, researchers are able to cancel out the bad vibrations. There are many ways to generate that opposite wave. But Nejat Olgach and his colleagues at the University of Connecticut say they found a new and better way that could mean smaller, cheaper, and lighter resonators. The key is a computer system which knows how to read the waves. Using a novel mathematical formula, the laboratory prototype not only creates the opposite wave needed to stop vibrations, it automatically adjusts that wave as conditions change. And on three, let's uh, activate the control. One, two, three. Look at the surface of the water. The lower section represents the structure needing protection from vibration, say a bridge. The dish of water is a low-tech way to see what's shaking. When the control is turned on, the vibration gets transferred into the upper part, so it suffers all the metal fatigue while the main structure stops shaking. In a full-scale model, the section that absorbs all the abuse would be disposable, so it could be replaced often. The Connecticut researchers have formed a consortium with a number of big companies concerned about vibration. They're interested in developing a small resonator which could reduce the need to make parts bulky. So we look at it as a possible weight savings, in which in the aviation field we're always looking for ways to make structures lighter. Olgach recently received a grant from the National Science Foundation to develop practical applications for his resonator. He says eventually it might be possible to make an all-purpose resonator that could be attached to just about any structure to give it some good vibrations.